mention moments ago on this program that Barack Obama had made a statement that sets the bar so low for what he thinks is middle class success, happiness, and achievement in this country. And I've got the actual soundbite. I want you to listen to this. This is Barack Obama. This was January 25th in Cedar Rapids, Iowa at uh, Conveyor Engineering and Manufacturing Company. Just a brief portion of what he said. If you're willing to put in the work, the idea is that you should be able to raise a family and own a home, not go bankrupt because you got sick, because you've got some health insurance that, that, that helps you deal with those difficult times, that you can send your kids to college, that you can put some money away for retirement. That's all most people want. Folks don't have unrealistic ambitions. They do believe that if they work hard, they should be able to achieve that small measure of an American dream. They don't have unrealistic ambitions. People, most people don't want much. They don't have any unrealistic ambitions. They believe if they work hard, they ought to be able to achieve that small measure of the American dream. That's not all of what anybody wants. He's describing his own serfs. He's describing people who live on that kind of stuff that he gives them. The fact of the matter is that there are people in the middle class. Remember, we had this, this amazing story in the New York Times last week. People stuck in the middle class in the safety net. They are taking government assistance, and they're embarrassed, and they don't like it. And some of them have said, with all the obstacles in our way, they don't think they can work hard enough to get out of it. But to say... That people do not have unrealistic ambitions, if you're willing to put in the work. The idea is you should be able to raise a family and own a home and not go bankrupt because you get sick. What the hell? This, this constant portrayal of health care as something that can cause you financial meltdown. To how many people does that actually happen? The percentage is so small you couldn't calculate it. But to Barack Obama, getting sick can destroy you. So you got to have Obamacare. So getting sick won't destroy you. You give up your ambition. You give up your desire to make something of your life in exchange for the security of not going bankrupt if you get sick. This is appalling. Yeah, got some health insurance, helps you deal with those difficult times. Yeah, getting sick. That's the greatest financial threat known to every American, right? Getting sick is the greatest financial risk in America. That's what he wants you to believe? Yeah, just want to be able to send your kids to college, put some money away for retirement. That's all most people want. They don't have unrealistic ambitions. They believe if they work hard, ought to be able to achieve that small man. Man, what a limited view of potential freedom and possibility in America. What? Who in the world would want to follow this guy anywhere?